Hi, just a follow-up video to my previous one on the Vegas 15 uh, video rendering uh, speed. And I did a uh, test on uh, with my new Windows 10 machine with Vegas 15 with my GTX uh, NVIDIA GTX 750 video card using the new NV Inc encoding uh, GPU encoding capability built into Vegas 15 which wasn't there in Vegas 14 um, and uh, a lot of people uh, and it wasn't that much quicker um, compared to in fact was it any quicker compared to my CPU um, I think it was no it wasn't or something and everyone said uh, every man and his dog said get one of the new Pascal uh, NVIDIA Pascal chipset cards like the GTX 1050 and that will greatly incre in increase the um, GPU rendering. In fact, it's not GPU uh, rendering. If we have a, just have a quick uh, squiz over here. Um, so uh, what I've gone and done is I've gone and got myself a GTX uh, 1050 card which uses, here it is, uh, where is it? Uh, it uses the new, yeah, the new 1050 card compared to my GTX 750, here you go, I'll show you, CPU, uh, GPU, sorry, graphics card, uh, GTX 1050, and for those playing along at home, this is my dual Xeon uh, machine, the E5R20 uh, 680 dual processor uh, job, and there you go, for those who want to see all the requisite detail, anyway, um, I've got myself one of these cards, and I re-ran the benchmark, this uh, card, the 10, the uh, 1000 series or whatever you call it, the 1050, the 1060, the 1080, uses the new Pascal chipset, which is actually uh, different. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, it's got the new Pascal chipset. And here it is compared to the GeForce 750 uh, Ti there. So it's got faster uh, memory speed. It's got the same number of CUDA cores, but apparently the uh, encoder... Uh, built into Vegas 15, it uses the NV Inc core, which is the uh, NVIDIA encoder hardware core built into the NVIDIA chipsets, and it actually doesn't matter. Apparently, it's not using the CUDA cores, so apparently, it doesn't matter how many CUDA cores you have if you're using that uh, NVIDIA Inc, NV Inc encoder, um, whether you have the high end 1080 card or the low end uh, 1050 card doesn't actually matter for the encoding speed apparently that's what i've been told and everyone said uh the 1050 should be much quicker than the gtx 750 and it's got faster memory scheme it's got faster boost clock and uh, everything else right and it's got the faster um nv inc architecture which according to wikipedia here is uh yeah the old one used the maxwell uh maxwell chipset the new one uses the pascal uh, chipset and it doubles the encoding performance of 4K H.264 and HV Inc. when compared to the previous generation NV Inc. Uh, cards. The previous one uh, supports 8K encoding and stuff like that. Doesn't say about uh, 1080p uh, anyway. It implements the 10-bit uh, hardware encoding, so it should have been quicker, right? But I installed it and I ran it and I ran it again. And I'll run it again. Uh, render as, here we go, I tried 4K and it actually just gave me an error message. Anyway, um, here it is, the 1080p50 with the NV Inc uh, encoder support for the NVIDIA. Um, and if I customize, I don't have to customize the template, but there you go, NV, it's using NV encoder, high quality. It's all the same uh, settings as I had before. And if we actually uh, run that, uh, override existing whoop, file. There you go. Um, it'll be a bit slower because I'm doing the screen capture thing. But it took the exact same time. One minute for a two minute clip here. It took one minute and 47 seconds. And that's exactly what it took with my, 10, uh, with my 750, GTX 750 card. To the second. Exactly the same. So that's very interesting. Um, this is a better card, like it's it's a higher pass mark, but that shouldn't uh, matter. Hang on, Whoop. here we go. Uh, it's a higher. Where's where's the pass mark? Yeah, 
it's a it's 3700 for the old GTX 750 and it's 4400 for the new uh, GTX 1050 so it's slightly higher there but um, it, the NV Inc should have you know should make the difference and it's not it did a exactly the same time so there you go just an update um, if anyone's got any clue why it's not any quicker at all um, please let me know maybe I can put in two cards and it might make a difference you can see it's still buffering look you can see it like going in like I think it's in groups of 60 um, because it's well it's 50 frames per second yeah uh, 50 frames per second project and I'm rendering to 50 frames per second so it might be 50 it goes in uh, uh, you know little um, bursts there of uh, frames whereas if you're doing CPU rendering it's just continuous like that and uh, no it's not the hard drive I'm rendering to it makes no difference whether I render to my solid state drive or to my uh, black um, what is it the uh, Western Digital black hard drive I'm rendering to at the moment that's not the bottleneck uh, at all and no it's not memory um, so there you go we're using the NV Inc on Vegas 15 it's no quicker so anyway there you go it took a minute 57 with the um, extra 10 seconds with my uh, screen capture on so there you go um yeah let me know if you've got any theory as to why it's not any quicker catch you next time